Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Really excited to do a video today here. This is the full self-driving 12.2 version of the uh, full self-driving autopilot version. This is my 2021 uh, Model S long range version. And uh, this is the first time I've done a test with uh, the version 12. Now version 12 has done a huge re-architecture uh, with the full self-driving and the autopilot. It is supposed to be the most advanced update to autopilot for Teslas. Uh, they did a, a big focus on a lot of the side roads and street roads, not the main highways just as much. So there's a strong focus and the accuracy has been updated quite a bit. I've seen a couple videos on YouTube from a few individuals that were able to get a very early release of 12.0, and it seems like it's pretty darn significant. So we're gonna do a quick test today, but the first thing I wanna remind you is you have to have the car in full-on uh, park. You have to go down here to, um, to basically your autopilot button here, and then you do have to click on full self-driving and go through uh, another, uh, basically just understanding what it will do, what it won't do. You have to uh, essentially check this checkbox that you're willing to do this and um, that you want to enable full self-driving. And so you have to go through that process again in order to fully engage with it. You do wanna read through any of the other uh, components here so that you understand what is going on as far as minimal changes for current drive um, with the lanes, which I actually like that, so I'm gonna leave that on. Um, and then ba basically being able to make any other adjustments that you may need to make. Um, I do not have summon turned on, I don't really use that. So just different uh, variations that you may wanna do. Then essentially all you do is put in the address of where you're going. Uh, so I'm gonna be dropping off my son here at a jiu-jitsu class and uh, it's right next to this uh, Jersey Mike's here. So you'll see how that goes. We're going to uh, pull out of this uh, winery that happens to be right by our house. And then you can see uh, uh, the navigation is already queued up uh, to take us down the path there. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here and see how this full self-driving actually works. I'm gonna go ahead and engage with it right here. But as you can see, there are cars coming from the left and the right. Let's, so let's see how well it does here. I went ahead and um, engaged with it here. And it's gonna creep forward, as you can see here. You can ignore this screen because that was me disengaging with it. So you can see now we're in full self-driving. I'm not driving the car at all. I'm not touching the uh, yoke steering, nor am I touching uh, the pedals. Um, as we uh, discussed in some of our earlier videos about full self-driving, uh, the car will automatically choose a maximum speed limit based on visually seeing the uh, traffic signs uh, and the speed limit signs. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that up uh, so we can go a little bit beyond the speed limit. I'm gonna push it up to about 55, uh, which is pretty normal for this road. But again, uh, the full self-driving and the autonomous driving and the, uh, the uh, AI computer will take over. Uh, so even though we have it set at 55, it is uh, running it at a 45 mile an hour speed limit, which again, uh, the car, and that is the speed limit here. You'll see a, a speed limit sign coming up here on the right, right next to this rider. You'll see the rider in the main visual screen there. So the computer does keep track of all those aspects uh, that are going on in the uh, in the uh, display here. This is kind of what the computer sees and interprets, and then it has the ability uh, off of visual recognition and a lot of the learning uh, that the AI does. It understands what these different elements are, um, and it also knows what's coming up as far as traffic lights, any turns, anything like that. That. Um, it may be uh, wanting to adjust or change. So um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cruise along here. You can see the car is already doing a, a pretty good job of driving. Uh, version 11, I think was also pretty strong already. Um, 
I certainly used it quite a bit. This is gonna see if we can get us all the way there without me having to interfere at all. Um, so far, it's doing a pretty good job, as you can see. Um, you do still need to uh, you know, let the car know by um, touching the steering wheel. Um, Teslas will not operate without the uh, main driver being fully alert uh, while you're uh, driving the car. Um, and so it will uh, you know, take all those things into account. And it doesn't want people to abuse the full self-driving by falling asleep or anything related to that. So you do need to uh, touch the steering wheel and make the car know that you're awake. Um, as we've discussed in some of our other full self-driving videos, there's also a camera that's up here that will look to see if you're texting on your cell phone or you would have uh, potentially fallen asleep. And in those situations, uh, the car will warn you with a visual effect. Turn left onto Bernal Avenue. And then a sound effect uh, warning you to touch the steering wheel and get back involved with the car. Uh, so you can see here, we're kind of cruising along at 37, 36 miles an hour. We're coming up to a red light here. The blinker has engaged all automatically without me doing a thing. And then it will uh, stop here at the light. And then when uh, the cameras uh, see the light turn uh, green, then it will actually start to move and, and go forward. So right now we're 100% full self-driving full autonomous driving it's making the turn without me um, it's managing the turn well and again uh, it's now sees the 30 minutes uh, 30 uh, mile an hour speed limit so it is going to slow down to that I am going to push it ahead a little bit faster uh, one thing that's interesting is see the uh, the truck uh, working on the road here a little bit uh, so it does recognize that but it's on the other side of the road so it does not affect our situation now these roads coming up here are a really good example of uh, version 12 in the sense that um, it does handle a lot of these side neighborhood roads considerably better as you're seeing it kind of navigate and uh, go through the different um, uh, streets here. This is somewhat of a dangerous street in the sense that there's lots of hills that go up and down and it's in a neighborhood. Uh, so you gotta be really careful about just uh, uh, pedestrians walking around or you know walking dogs or little kids there's a, a lot of families that live in this area um, this will be interesting there's two lanes here it can go through uh, a stop sign and then you can see an immediate merge into one lane so the car is kind of gently slowing down that's one of the things that um, version 12 is st supposed to do a much better job of is handling uh, the aggressive stops or aggressive accelerations where um, when, when human beings are obviously in the car uh, sometimes it can be a little too jarring uh, for them and so version 12 is supposed to do a much better job of settling into a stop or accelerating uh, a bit slower uh, to get to a higher speed rather than uh, you know jerking the passengers around that are in the car and, and not making it a, a difficult ride. Were you gonna say something, Lewis? No. No, okay, you just like to comment on me. Yeah, Lewis is very good at uh, uh, making fun of his dad when he's showing different uh, videos or talking, so. Uh, I would never. Yeah, you would never, exactly. So, as you can see, the, uh, the car's doing a great job uh, just driving along here. You can see the, you know, again, the max speed limit here is at 35 miles an hour and it's doing a good job. I'm going to go ahead and creep this up a little Just adjusting uh, the max speed limit for autopilot, which makes it um, just go a little bit faster than uh, what I was normally traveling. Um, given that the speed limit can change pretty frequently uh, while you're driving on the road, because whenever the cameras see a new speed limit, uh, if it goes up higher or lower in a number of situations, it will uh, drop that speed limit just by visually seeing that uh, speed limit sign. And you can um, use the uh, wheel to increase the speed. So uh, now it doesn't catch all the signs, but when it does catch a sign, 
uh, you have the ability to adjust that. So you, going in and out of neighborhood roads can be um, a little bit of a challenge to catch all those speed limit signs and adjust automatically. Uh, when you're on highways or freeways, obviously that's not as bad. Now, the main uh, computer that's inside right above the yoke steering wheel is where you're going to see a lot of the visual elements. So people walking through crosswalks, bikes in the bike path, very, very important. All the cameras in uh, the Tesla, the side cameras, the B yeah, cameras, B pillar cameras, as well as the front camera is going to be looking for all the uh, different pedestrians that are on the road and it needs to pay uh, very close attention to them as there's a lot of them. Uh, overall, the version 12 is significantly better, I would say, in natural driving. Um, it does a really good job of um, easing into um, other lanes, as you saw right there, um, slowing down to a yellow or red light, um, doing a very smooth, very natural feeling. And what I mean by natural is easing into a stop, as you can see here. Uh, that overall is one of the biggest differences that I've seen with version 12. Um, it just drives way more natural um, as opposed to hitting brakes hard um, abruptly. The other big thing that, um, that I noticed also is, the, is speed bumps. Um, so simple like parking lot speed bumps or speed bumps at a stop sign, which we're all familiar with. Um, in past versions of full self-driving, uh, it would not slow down at all on those speed bumps. The other types of bumps are those bigger, larger, almost mounds that um, I've encountered where they might be three feet wide, um, a mound where you go up and then come down. And those, as you guys know, if you hit those a little too fast, that can be um, just a horrible experience in your car. So um, the version 12 does understand where those are on the road and it will slow down for speed bumps or those little mounds that you see. And so it does a really good job of slowing down, going over them and then adjusting. So overall version 12 just has a much more natural feel uh, that um, that um, it, it, it really went out of its way to try to adjust to how humans drive. Okay, coming up here, uh, we are going to be taking a right and then pulling into the main center. You can see there's a bike lane here. So with all the ca cameras on the car, the rear cameras, the side cameras, it's going to look to make sure there's no bikers in there. So you do not need to worry about that. It does a better job than human eyes. So it's very, very easy to actually see that information as it's coming across. Uh, okay, now it's going to be turning left up here, uh, and then it's going to drive us around into the specific parking lot. Um, so overall, it does a really good job, again, easing into these turns. Notice how it does turn. It's, it's a very gradual, nice turn, which is something that's just pleasant. Lewis, what do you think about how well it's doing? I think it's with pretty the cool. smoothness, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like... Yeah. So now notice it got in this left, left. center lane and it's going to turn into the plaza here. Uh, but it's a bit of a tricky turn here. As you can see, there's a median. So the car is trying to figure it out. Again, version 12. And it looks like it did figure it out. So that was fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and interact with it now. <laughs> Um, because I am going to a, actually a different place than uh, Jersey Mike's here. So I'm going to be dropping uh, my son off here at the, his uh, jiu-jitsu class. Uh, so essentially that's it. Uh, but really want to thank you guys for joining us in this first uh, version, uh, version 12 here in my 2021 Model S. I will be doing a few more of these videos so you can see how tricky this is and how well this has been working or how well it's not been working. Uh, but one I'm gonna do here real quick um, should be really good for you guys. Anyways, I really wanna thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, this has been kind of our first look at version 12 uh, in full self-driving in our 2021 Model S uh, Tesla here, long range version. We're gonna be doing a couple other 
uh, videos here in version 12 so you guys can get a really good idea of how well this is working. This again is one of the biggest architectural changes that we have in version 12. For me, I'm really liking this quite a bit. So please uh, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, let me know if you have any questions about version 12, and we'll continue to do more and more videos on this. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate you joining today. Have a wonderful weekend.